Hello, welcome to what's new in Reaper 5.93. Lots of great little features in this update. I think a lot of people are going to like this one. Let's start off with automation items. There's now a new option when you go to the snap and grid settings. Uh, snap automation items to automation items and media items. So you can disable snapping to other media items or automation items there or keep them on. Automation items will now snap to the grid lines or to media item edges. And automation items will also snap to each other. So a nice little update, kind of works as expected, which is great. Here's something with automation envelopes. So if we have our default point shape set to square, it used to be that when we make a point, like that, like that, that we wouldn't be able to convert this to a Bezier style curve where you hold down Alt and then drag. And so now that works. We can go from a square point to a Bezier curve. The beta of the Linux native builds are now available up on the website. So if you're interested in running your DAW on Linux, uh, now there's an easier way to use Reaper on there. In the last update, they added the option of snapping to measures. And measures is a grid division that will work regardless of your time signature. So now that works in the MIDI editor as well. You can now set the grid snapping to measures. And now that will work exactly the same as the arrange view. In the action list, when we want to assign the mouse wheel to an action, we now have the option of doing the Windows key on Windows or the Control key on Mac. So I'm just going to take this action here, click Add, and so I could do Control Shift Mouse Wheel, and that will assign it. And you can see that here, Shift Control Mouse Wheel is assigned. Up to this update, that wasn't possible, and the same goes for Windows. Using Control by itself on on Mac will zoom the screen, so I don't recommend doing that one, but Control Shift, Control Option, Control Command, or any of those variations are now available. You know this option in Media Item Properties, Preserve Pitch When Changing Rate? A lot of sound designers want this turned off by default, and now we can. So that's actually a project setting. So we go to Project Settings and Advanced. We can disable this option Enable preserve pitch when changing rate for new items. If we have this off at the start of the project, anything we import or record will have that toggle turned off. So this will be off by default. And that's great. That's going to make a lot of people happy. Something else in project settings. You've probably seen this option, project start time, where we can choose where to set the time um, for the start of the project. So if bar 9 is the start of the project, it will start counting up from that point. We can also do this with measures. So if this is at 1 by default, um, that's going to be normal. But we can set this to bar 11 as the start of the project. So now bar 11 is at the left edge of the project. What's new here is an option so that ruler markings don't get lost. So right now we can't see that bar 11 is there. And we'll look in project settings again and enable this option, base ruler markings off this measure. Turn that on, hit OK. And now that first uh, measure is always going to be visible there. And so these ruler markings are going to be more relevant. We can be zoomed out further and still edit with ease. So again, we can set this to, let's say, bar 3. We zoom out. Bar 3 is still visible. And when we've got this set to measures, it's pretty simple to still drag items around and put them on the correct grid divisions.
In Reaper's Preferences on the Media page, we have this option, Copy Imported Media to Project Media Directory. I like to have that on by default. Uh, in most situations, that's what you want to use to just to help you manage your project. Anything you import will be copied to your project folder. And the project folder is this folder that you set up in the Media tab of Project Settings. But here's a new thing. On Import of Media, there's this option to override the default settings in Preferences. So now this is both a global setting or a per project overridden option. So we can have this set to do not copy media to project path. There are some situations for this where you want to manage your media in certain folders outside of Reaper. Uh, let's say video projects where you have multiple audio files. Some of them are recorded inside of Reaper. Some of them are imported. You could have template files that, um, that you would like to keep in a certain folder for your template files. And when you import them into your project, you don't want them to be duplicated on your hard drive, taking up lots of extra space. You might want to have your video files in one drive and your audio files on another drive with your project file probably in the same folder as the audio files. Now when you import those video files, they're not going to be duplicated onto your audio drive. So there are lots of applications for that. So you don't have to go into the preferences anymore to change that setting on a per project basis and possibly forget in the, in the other ones. You can set that up in your various project templates as needed and projects going forward will have the correct setting that you need for that task. Very helpful. VLC3 is now supported for your media decoding. I often recommend VLC as the best decoder for working with video in Reaper. And so now VLC3 is supported and it will look for it in the applications folder as well as Reaper's own folder if you want to do it as a portable install. Uh, I'm not sure if that works on Windows, um, but it does work on Mac. And it will also look for like VLC32.app or VLC64.app. If you're using a 32-bit operating system, then you still want to use VLC2 for that. This is great because there was a lot of people that would download VLC and then have the wrong version that works with Reaper. They'd have to find this certain old version that would still work. Um, now it's just easy. You can download the VLC from the website. Make sure you get the 64-bit if you're on Windows, of course. And it's just going to be a lot easier for everyone. You need to say, go download VLC. It will work with Reaper now. No problems. In case you didn't know, VLC is available from videoland.org. One more thing related to video and the render to file window. Uh, let's go to here and then we go to the um, export options. So in addition to the 16 by 9, uh, 12, 1280 and 1920 presets that are available here, there's now also 9x16 for Instagram video, the vertical video presets in 720 and 1080p. You can also see new frame rate presets here as well. So that's what's new in this update. Lots of great stuff. Being able to assign more modifiers for mouse wheel actions, that's great. Preserve pitch when changing rate as a project setting, awesome. Project setting to override copy media on import, that's great. And hopefully we'll be seeing some performance benefits from using VLC3 as well. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Join our Facebook group, Reaper Blog Community. Support the Reaper Blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. 